how to improve the lighting while working in front of your computer monitor. Awesome guys for tuning in. Today we're gonna to review the bank screen reading lamp for your computer. And a lot of people know that issue. You work long times in front of the computer, but it can also be straining on your eyes. What can you do to improve the lighting situation? For me personally, I have picked this bank screen bar e-reading lamp because it has a lot of interesting features and uh, consequently won a lot of uh, prices for good design. And that's what we're gonna have a look at today. Because as you know, I have this YouTube channel here where I do a lot of tech reviews. And uh, yes, during the day I can work on my computer monitor, but uh, as soon as it gets dark outside, I rely on obviously on lighting on my room and I don't want additional stress on my eyes if I spend long time on front of the monitor. And this bank screen reading lamp has uh, some benefits. You can, it has a first integrated light sensor that helps to always adjust the correct light volume. Obviously you can also control it manually and you can change the color temperature. And what I found specifically interesting was that when I looked on the bank website, they clearly stated that if you're using a light in lighting source in your uh, uh, surrounding, such as a lamp on your desk, the light gets directed to the wall and then bounces back to my desk. And I want to see how much improvement I can get out of using this monitor lamp because supposedly it sends the light directly in front of your screen and thereby reducing a strain on your eyes. This is what I'm going to test today for you. And I'm super excited to have a closer look at this screen bar, especially since uh, I have only one lamp on my desk. And uh, yeah, I really um, hope to improve my work environment with this uh, nicely designed product. And that's what we're gonna test for you today. Packaging is very nicely and safe, safe and secure. Uh, but what really drew me to it was uh, the design prices they won. This is an anodized aluminum construction right here and it's fairly lightweight. And as you can see here are the control elements where you can uh, manually control the light or you can use the light sensor or you can change the color temperature. And the interesting part is the way it structures the light. So this was fairly easy. You just put it on front of it, on top of your display. It's really not too heavy. It's a very qualitatively construction, but with a lightweight aluminum material. And what I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna plug this into my USB hub that my display has. And then I'm ready to go. And it harmonizes very well from a design standpoint with my display. And I like the way you can control the different functions. So let's get testing and see how this screen bar performs. Yeah, I mean, what I really like is you can adjust the brightness levels very easily. This is like touch sensitive. So you see how it gets brighter, very nice. Obviously a little bit too bright for my camera because the camera only captures a certain dynamic range. So if I turn down the light, you see that I can touch it again and it dims it down again and you can dim it up again. Obviously you can also change the color temperature. <clears throat> you can make it more white. So then maybe more for a productive case or you touch it, then it turns more warm, more yellowish. And uh, obviously you can also put it back into automatic, which automatically adjusts the perfect setting based on the light sensor that is in here. So, so far I like this a light bar. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to test it for a month or so, a couple of weeks and get back with you <clears throat> to you with my conclusion. Does it, is it pleasant to work with this? Because like I told you, it sends the light directly down or in that direction, the way this array of LEDs is constructed in there. So very awesome for initial impression. So let's see how this performs over the next couple of weeks. Wonderful, we jumped right now to part four and I'm gonna give you my personal summary and conclusion. I used this bank screen bar for over a month right now and I can confidently say that in my use scenario, it is a welcome addition to my relatively sparse lighting. As you have seen, what I really liked about this bank screen bar, as you can see, are these touch elements that you can control all the functions, especially useful, the light sensor always 
uh, that I mentioned to you that automatically adjusts the light volume. Really, really super nice, easy to use and easy to understand. You just put it on a monitor of your choice. Um, one quick disclaimer, obviously, um, you want to observe the lighting situation into your room. Some people, they have perfect lighting, others they don't. So make sure you consider the light sources that you have in your room. For my particular scenario, um, let's say you have documents in front of you. I, I've shown you that the light is uh, directly projected in front of the monitor on the keyboard. So if you shuffle around some documents, maybe accounting work or whatever you're doing, that can be especially useful. And this concludes this review. I really like this product. My personal opinion is it gets a big thumbs up. And uh, I don't own a bank monitor right now, but maybe I am going to do in the future. And uh, yeah, let me know what other products you want to see on my channel page. There's a playlist called Computer Monitors, where I have a bunch of different uh, monitor manufacturers. You can do a little bit of a comparison. Awesome for tuning in. I see you in the next video. Take care. And because you just watched one of my reviews, you might also be interested in comparing the products that I just showed you against, for example, this LG Ultrawide 4K monitor, which is a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. So normally the displays all have 16 by 9, but the ultra wides give you some extra flexibility and especially the curved ones are great for gaming, but I'm more a video editing guy. Awesome for tuning in. I see you as a subscriber and in the next video. Take care.